Glory to God. Welcome to week 20. It's, it's been 20 weeks since we started this In Him Scripture study, and we're getting stronger and stronger every day we do it. I got a, I got a, uh, a comment, a, a text on, a, on our Facebook page this morning, told me, said, keep preaching the truth. That's all I know to preach, because I'm not going to try to preach what I know. I'm going to preach what God has written down for us to, to walk in and to be strong in, and that is His Word. His Word goes out all over this planet on this podcast, and, and I thank God that He has helped me and, and commissioned me to do that, to give it away all over this planet free of charge. And partners, I want to thank you, personally thank you for all that you've done sowing into this ministry, all that you're doing sowing into this ministry, helping us give his word away free of charge to anybody that'll listen. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. It's because of partners like you that we have the means to do what God has commissioned us to do, and I thank God that you're listening to him and and listening to his urges and that to so. Thank you. Now listen, whether you're a partner or whether you're not, share these podcasts on your social media. Share them all over this planet so others can get the truths that God has written down for all of us to have. I thank God that he is no respecter of person and what he'll do for me, what he'll do for you, he'll do for anybody. I'm talking about anybody on this on this globe that we live on. That's because I I do or that is the reason I do what I do is because I want the world to get get hold of what I know, what God has given me. And 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 it's I mean it thrills me to be able to stand up and think my goodness how good he has been to me uh, and I need to give it away it's it's that's that's how good it is because I want the world to see that he's for them I didn't know that a lot of years went by and I did not know that God was for me but I thank God that he is today he's for us today now let's listen don't forget, share these podcasts on your social media so that others around this planet can be, can find the truth out, can hear the truth, can know the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is the Word of God. That's what I'm, I want the world to know and understand, that God has written down what they need to live triumphantly and victoriously in their life through his word. Now, my prayers for today come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. If you listen to this podcast, you know that I do these prayers every time I do this podcast because I want the world to understand just how much God loves them, just how much he cares for them. And that's what Paul wanted for the Ephesians. Paul wanted the Ephesians to, to know and understand, have their spiritual eyes open, have wisdom to know that God was for them. He wasn't a tyrant but he was for them. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. And and this is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, 
When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. Is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he shows me these truths more and more every day. Every day I open his word, I find out just how much he loves me, just how much he's for me. And that is my earnest prayer for every person that listens to this podcast, every person that that walks the face of this earth, that they'll find out that God's for them. God is for you today. If you don't know that, Get in this scripture study with us. Find out what he has said about you. Oh, I I, I know it will change your life if you'll just do that. Now, let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can speak through, that you can shine through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, today we're going to be in, uh, let's see, second or First Peter 5 and 10. And I want to I want to read this to you because this is just something that that is just what we've been talking about for months now. It says, "But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto His eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that we have that ye have suffered a little while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you." Hear this now, hear this. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto unto his holy, eternal glory by Christ Jesus. The God of grace, which has called us. Can you hear that? I, I spent a lot of years out here in this world not knowing that God was, all he wanted me to do was to turn to him. And there's millions out here that don't know that. I spent a lot of years in shame and condemnation, self-shame and self-condemnation over the things that I was doing, thinking that God was mad at me, thinking God was upset with me, thinking he was disgusted with me, when it was really that myself, just, just, I'm talking about just, completely condemning myself for the mistakes that I'd made, not knowing that all I had to do was accept that grace and the God that had all that grace for me and and accept that he was calling me home. You see, we don't understand the love. Mankind, I don't care how long you've been a Christian, you will never really get hold of the love that God has for you until you see him until the the earthly the earthly uh, hindrances of this world is taken away and you can really without reservation and without hindrance see what how much God loves you and how much he's for you see that's his grace the God of all grace who called you He has called us, and He wants us more than anything to come to Him. And this this message that we are bringing five days a week on this podcast is meant to show people what God wants for them. 
that he does love them, that he cares for them, that he wants more than anything to be part of their life, that he has went to a lot of trouble to be part of their life, that he wants to, to be real in their life. And if, and if we will find that out today and understand it today, we can, we can be strong, be confident in him. Be confident in what He wants for us, and that is victory. You don't have to live another day defeated. You don't have to live another day uh, in, in turmoil in your life over the mistakes you have made. I told a, a lady year, a day before last, or day, yeah, a day before last, I told them, I said, listen, I said, if, if, if we are going on how good we can be and how perfect we can be, we've all got a rude awakening. Yet we'll never make it if we're going on our goodness. It's not by our goodness. We are saved by grace through faith in what Jesus Christ done, through making Him Lord and Savior of our lives. People, don't, don't waste another day. Don't waste another day allowing yourself to be condemned be condemned over where you're at. No, turn to Him. Turn to Him. You know, I, I, I go to, I reference Luke 15, 11 through 24 a lot because, I, I mean, that, that if you've ever seen a picture of a prodigal son, go to our YouTube page and, and watch a video of me because I'm, I'm the poster child of a prodigal son. I messed up royally, spent a lot of years away from God and, and didn't have to. Didn't have to. Thought that he was a an unpleasable tyrant. That no matter what I'd done, I would never ever be able to please him. So I threw up my hands and quit. And 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 spent almost a dozen years backslid away from God, away from church, away from people that loved me and cared for me. But let let me explain something to you. When I read Luke fifteen, eleven through twenty four and come to understand that 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 father in that picture was my heavenly father and me and and countless others on this planet now whether you've been born again or whether you're not born again i want you to understand something that you can come to god and he will love you and he will care for you and his grace he his grace far outweighs I, anything that we've ever done, I promise you that all you got to do is come to him, repent, and make Jesus Lord of your life if you've never done that. And if you have been born again, confess your sins. He's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's God's grace. That's his unmerited favor that, that we all, we all have a right to. You know why we've got a right to it? Because Jesus Christ came and died on the cross to give us that right, to give us that, 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 that thing that we needed in our life that we couldn't work hard enough to get, and that was that sacrifice. God's unmerited favor is for every person that walks the face of this planet. And I want you to know something today. If I say anything on this podcast that will, that will help you, I want you to know today that God is for you and He's watching the horizon waiting on you to come home. I feel like I need to read Luke 15. I hadn't read it in a while for myself, but I feel like I need to read it because people around the world don't know, don't know what this verse can do for their, or what these verses can do in their lives if they'll just allow it to, if they'll just take it as their own. But I'm going to read Luke 15, 11 through 24. It says, And a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of my goods that falleth to me. And he divideth unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. 
And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he went And he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he would have fain filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. No, And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, listen, when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants my fathers of my fathers have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before and, and against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of thy hired servants. And he rose and came to the father, and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto the father, now listen, he said part of that speech, but he didn't get it all out. It says, and the son said to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and against and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. You know, when he, when he rehearsed it, he said, and make me a hired servant. But the father didn't, didn't let him finish. He said, but the father said to his servant, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and, and, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Now I want to explain something to you. That is a small, a small picture of God's grace. Although that boy was prepared to be a hired servant, his father restored him. He put shoes on his, or shoes on his feet and clothes on his back and a ring on his finger. And that signet ring meant something. That ring meant that he was part of that family. He wanted the, the, the son to know it, and he wanted the, everybody around there to know that he had restored him. He had forgiven him. And you know, all the, all the father wanted was his son to repent. He was so glad to see him that he ran uh, you know, Jewish Jewish culture says that after you become a man in the Jewish uh, in 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 the Jewish uh, culture, that you don't run anymore. But this this picture, this picture of God's grace shows this father running to his son and falling on his neck and kissing him and restoring him to where he had left. God wants to do that for you today. He wants to do that for every person that walks the face of this planet. If you've never been born again, I want to ask you a question today. Do you believe God is who He says He is? Do you believe God had done what He said He'd done and He sent His only begotten Son down here to die on the cross for your sins and raised Him from the dead for your justification? Do you believe that? Because if you do, you're one step away from being born again. You're one step away from being saved. All you have to do is confess Jesus as Lord of your life. He wants to do that for you today. He wants to to see you born into his family. He wants to save you. That's God's grace. No matter what you've done, where you've been, how many mistakes you have made, God's grace is sufficient to forgive you. All he wants you to do is come to him. All he wants you to do is repent and make Jesus Lord of your life. Won't you do that today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart and into your life and save you? You know, this young man, this prodigal son, he went and spent everything his father had worked for all his life that he gave him. When he gave it to him, the young man went out and blew it all, wasted it all, But that didn't change the love that that father had for him. That is the picture of our Heavenly Father. I don't care how much you have wasted in your life, how much time, what mistakes you have made. God loves you. God loves you. And the God of all grace 
is calling you today. He wants you to come to Him. Won't you do that today? Won't you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today and watch Him change your life forever? Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. If you've got a testimony, if you've been born again listening to this podcast, send me your testimony. Tell me what God's doing in your life. If you need Him to do something in your life, send me your prayer request. You know, I I, I want to hear from people that, that need the answers for their prayer requests. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dig into God's Word, and I'm going to do my dead level best to give you what you need to see your prayer request answered, to maybe already know that it is answered. And, And God has answered it in His Word. All you have to do is accept it. All you have to do is accept what Jesus said in His Word to get your prayer answered. So send me those prayer requests. Send them to me. I love to hear from people that are that are putting their confidence in the truth in God's Word to see things change in their life. Now listen, whether you're a partner or whether you're not a, a partner on this podcast, you know, I, I, I emphasize this a lot because I want the world to know what we are hearing on this podcast, and that is the truth in God's word. Share these podcasts all over your, all over this, all over this world in your social media. Share them and and let others come to know and understand just how much God loves them. There's millions don't know that. There's millions stuck in trying to to be righteous enough, be good enough for God to to change them and to help them. No, all they have to do is repent and come to Him. And if they've never been born again, be born again today. Accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. That's what this is all about. That's what this, this podcast is all about, to see people changed. And partners, you've got a part in that. You've got a part in that. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. I thank you a hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Thank you. Now, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. But go to our website. Get in touch with us. Whatever the need may be, get in touch with us today. It's the dash prodigalson.com